To God be the glory, I'm O.W. Prince, and this is your real illuminating moment. It's February 18th, 2022, the day of preparation for the Holy Sabbath day of Yahweh. The powers that are now in control of the world have figured out that imagery and television, which is just a form of imagery, transmission, and communication, would easily program and brainwash folks into believing whatever television told them to believe is a form of control and manipulation. Through subtle subliminal and hypnotic audiovisual manipulation and the science of the same and the science of brainwashing, that is to say um, convincing us that whatever is heard and seen on any of the media sources uh, should be trusted as being believable and true without question. It is generally believed that if it's on television, then it must be true. Society looks to the media for their moral compass and sense of what is important. No one believes Yahweh as much as they trust and believe what the news says or what the newspaper says or what the televangelist says or whatever is communicated over an audio video wave band says. We all are susceptible to the power of suggestion and our own fears and imaginations to draw a predetermined conclusion from the narrative that the liar has told us. We all have been brainwashed to be easily manipulated and deceived by the Lord of this world. Many of us have been so thoroughly deceived as to entertain and believe the lies of Satan communicated via his media distribution hub that said that Yahweh and his Holy Spirit abides in wickedness and sin. That the Lamb of God, Yehoshua HaMashiach, the one we call Jesus the Christ, actually advocates for oral and anal sex in and outside of a marriage. Uh, they have fooled us and deceived us and have tricked us into believing uh, that Yehoshua HaMashiach is all for homosexuality. He is an advocate for same-sex unions and women serving in preordained roles for men. Through the media, we are told who to hate and who to love. We believe the images presented to us as representing the true heart of the matter, and we end up hating whole nations of people because we were told that they were bad and that their politics were evil. Uh... They portrayed Native Americans as wild, savage rapists who had to be driven off of their land and designated to reservations. And many looked down upon such people because of how they were characterized by the media. But look who wrote the narrative. Why were they painting such a dismal picture of the people that they murdered, demonized, and displaced? If we were willing to look, we can see the racial prejudice, bigotry, cultural demonization and discrimination and hatred toward a whole race of people being taught over television. And blacks were so thoroughly brainwashed through the Holocaust and cruelty of slavery and through the propaganda of racist media uh, that we viewed ourselves as less than the demonized Native Americans and we prefer to be associated and identified with the Native American race than with our own race. Even today, many blacks are excited to tell you that they have some Native American blood in their background. How many times have we heard one black tell another black trying to impress upon him his superior skin complexion or hair texture by telling them oh, we have Indian in our blood. Mm -hmm. This is a leftover from the self-hatred that slavery has instilled in us. The colonizers are experts at writing clandestine narratives against those they wish to murder, demonize, and displace, to colonize and rule over as the superior race. They are truly gifted at painting a dismal picture of others relative to themselves, so much so that they appear as the Lord Jesus Christ in almost every image and imagined representation of God, even in the houses and worship centers of their slaves or former slaves. They're the white Jesus on the wall of black churches. Mm -hmm. But I digress. Let us get back to the main point, which is watch as well as pray. 
Don't believe everything you hear as it is narrated to you through the media. The media is only operated by the Lord of this perishing world. Investigate for yourself, praying as you go, trusting in the Holy Spirit who will guide us into all truth. And if the Lord shows you mercy, your eyes will be open to the truth. You will begin to see that the wrongs are now called right by the media. You will begin to see that God and holiness are now the blunt of jokes and God name is now associated with vulgarity and vulgar opulence. Even the most abhorrent and vile are celebrated as belonging to the Lord Jesus Christ. All they have to do is say that they are Christian. And they do many vile things in the name of the Lord. And many of us have actually said amen to what they are doing. But regardless of what the Supreme Court says or what the media has redefined or represented as morally righteous and acceptable to God, compared to God, they are all liars. Only God is true. He does not change. All of his ways are perfect from the beginning. Yahweh is faithful. Place not your trust in anything having to do with humanity or humanity's princes and our rulers. Put all of your confidence, every bit of your trust in the Lord. Everyone and everything can be trusted, but the Lord never fails. God is faithful. God is holy. God is love. God does not lie, nor does he have any reason to repent from his own eternal holy word and law. We don't need to listen to any of Satan's messages or messengers regarding what is holy and right and what isn't. God is the author and finisher of our faith. He defines what is right and what is wrong for us. He tells us what is holy and what isn't. We can't be persuaded by amoral media propaganda or this new age tolerance of sexual perversion. If we are truly born again, we have the very spirit of holiness abiding in us and we abide in him as we walk in the spirit we should be able to say to the world and to those who are perishing follow us as we follow christ for christ is the definition and the ultimate example of holiness and righteousness if we want to hear the truth stop listening to the lie if we want to hear the truth stop listening to the world's lies stop listening to the censored and fabricated fictional truth and seek yahweh who is truth change your channel away from the world and turn your full attention to almighty god only yahweh saves saving faith comes by hearing the living word of god from one sent by yahweh with his word salvation will not come through television or the lies of televised false prophets and visual images of the white Christian Christ and their slavery tainted murderous religious institutions and pagan traditions. No, those who worship God must do so in spirit and in truth, not in social religion and government sanctioned Christianity and a lie. No, you must, we must worship God in spirit and in truth in holiness and in truth. I choose spirit and truth. Repent. I'm O.W. Prince, and this has been your real illuminating moment. And as always in parting, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Life hurts, but God heals. Keep looking up.